What's up sports bettors? In this video, we're gonna be going through a betting strategy called arbitrage. I know it's gonna sound a little too good to be true. It's a way to make risk-free profits off of the sports books due to major discrepancy in sports book odds. Again, I know this sounds a little too good to be true, but this strategy is actually how I made my first $40,000 sports betting. And I'm gonna take you through why it's possible as well as the pros and the cons in this video. So why is arbitrage possible? Why can you make risk-free profits off the sports books? And the reason it's possible is because all these books, they all set their own lines. They all have different models. The odds on FanDuel are not the same as the odds on DraftKings. If every sports book had the exact same odds and lines, we wouldn't need hundreds. So essentially, out of the millions of odds across sports books, across all sports books, typically they're screwing up a small fraction of their lines. Maybe it's only 0.1% but that means there's 100 arbitrage bets. There's 100 situations where sportsbook models are super out of sync and you can bet equal and opposite outcomes on two different sportsbooks and make a risk-free profit. So that's what arbitrage betting is. You're betting the over on one sportsbook, the under on another sportsbook when their lines are super out of sync to lock in a risk-free profit. You're basically day trading the sports books. If you want a financial example, this is very similar to buying a stock for $10 and then selling it immediately to somebody else for $11. You're not taking an opinion on whether that stock price is gonna go higher or lower. You're just buying it for 10, flipping it for 11 to make that $1 in risk-free profit. So before we get into some examples of arbitrage betting, as well as going through the pros and the cons, the first thing you need to do if you want to be a great arbitrage better, you want to make risk-free money sports betting, is you are going to need multiple sports books. Again, all of these sports books have different odds and lines from one another. So when you're arbitrage betting, you want to have as many books as possible. The more books you have, the better. If you have 10 sports books, that means there's 10 books that could be screwing up lines where you can find arbitrage bets from. So I recommend signing up for all the books in your location. Every state has different sports books that are available. So I recommend taking a look, seeing what is available in your location, FanDuel, DraftKings, Fliff, Caesars. I've used over 40 sports books when arbitrage betting, and the more you can get, the better. Obviously, another thing you need when you're finding your arbitrage bets is a software. So you can scan through the sports books manually. I actually used to do that. I would literally pull up sports books, scan around the market for arbitrage plays. But again, there's hundreds of thousands of odds on each sports book, millions of odds across all the sports books you probably use. So going through book by book manually to try to find these arbitrage plays is next to impossible. Another thing to mention about these arbitrage bets that we'll talk about a bit more later is these lines don't last forever, right? These are major discrepancies between sports books when sports books are making mistakes and you're day trading them to lock in a risk-free profit is these arbitrage bets, they're not gonna last for an hour, right? Some of these plays only last a few minutes before the books realize their lines are screwed up and they're getting arbed with another sports book and they end up moving their line. So long story short, you're gonna need a software. Odds Jam has an arbitrage betting tool. And of course, there's a seven day free trial. You can try it out for yourself. Again, you're gonna wanna have as many sports books as possible. So you can give Odds Jam a try for seven days. If you're not satisfied, you cancel your free trial in one button click. So one thing to mention when you're arbitrage betting, I really wanna hammer this home, is you need to move quickly. You are day trading the sports books. So what I really recommend is ideally you have all your sports book accounts logged into you know how to navigate these books so you can quickly get these arbitrage bets down and make a risk-free profit. It's also worth knowing a lot of sports books have search bars where you can search for specific teams, even specific players. Knowing how to find these bets and get your arbitrage plays in quickly is a really important tip when you're day trading the books. So I'm gonna take you through an arbitrage bet that I placed personally to make a risk-free $8. And this arbitrage bet is between Caesar Sportsbook and Barstool Sportsbook. Again, the more books you have access to, the better. If I didn't have access to Barstool or I didn't have access to Caesars, I wouldn't have been able to make this risk-free $8. So more books means more profitable betting opportunities. But you can see right here, there is a huge discrepancy between Barstool and Caesars on Kenny Pickett's passing attempts line. They have his line at 31 half. They both have the line at the same level, but look at the odds. Barstool has the odds on Kenny Pickett's over at plus 105. Caesars is so much different, right? They have this line at minus 140-ish. So we found this huge discrepancy in the market, and I'm gonna show you that we can place a bet on the over and the under on both sports books to make a risk-free profit. 
So I bet 178 on Barstool because that's the max they limited me to. And then I pulled up on Odds Jam, the arbitrage calculator, and it told me to bet roughly 178 on Caesars. So you can follow this calculator exactly. You can round your numbers a bit if you don't want to freak out the sports books or something like that. And now I'm gonna show you how this arbitrage play is gonna make me a risk-free profit of about $8. So I have 178 on Barstool, on Kenny Pickett, over 31 and a half at plus 105. I have his under 31 and a half at plus 104 odds on Caesars for 178. Always one bet is gonna win, one is gonna lose. In arbitrage betting, you are betting on equal and opposite outcomes to make a risk-free profit. So let's say he goes over, right? My bet on Barstool wins. I bet 178 at plus 105 odds, which means my profit is gonna be roughly like $186, $187. But I'm down 178 on Caesars. One bet wins, one loses. My profit, when you add them up, is roughly $8, right? Pretty good, I made $8. I'm not complaining for 20 seconds of work. Now let's say on the other hand, he goes under. My bet on Barstool loses, I'm down 178, but my bet on Caesars wins. I'm up 178 times 1.04, which is like 184, 85 bucks, whatever it is. Again, I'm making a risk-free profit of around $6. So it doesn't matter if Kenny Pickett goes over or under, I make money no matter what. It's like buying a stock for 10 and flipping it for 12, right? Now we have some other tutorial videos about arbitrage betting, and I'll in also include a link in the description um, where you can get a free trial of Odds Jam. It's completely free. Try out arbitrage betting with all the sports books in your state. You'll definitely make some profits. You gotta move quickly to get these arbitrage bets down. I have some other tutorial videos about arbitrage that you can check out, but this is a great strategy for making money. And again, it's how I made my first $40,000 sports betting. So a quick tutorial about how to actually start arbitrage betting is first of all, you're gonna need multiple sports books. So what I recommend doing is check out the Odds Jam free bet page. That will show you all the sports books in your location. Most of these books, again, have sign-up bonuses, and you're gonna wanna have as many as possible. On some days, there's great arbitrage bets, like the one I showed earlier, between Barstool and Caesars. Other days, it may be FanDuel and DraftKings. You can see I locked in this arbitrage bet between FanDuel and DraftKings. So long story short, the more books you have, the better. You're gonna need to sign up for them all. Then what you can do is just head over to the arbitrage tool and select the sports books you use on the dropdown. Again, ideally you have all the books in your location, but maybe for some reason you only start out with a few of them, so you can filter out the sports books you don't use. So Odds Jam, just hit the refresh button. It's gonna pull in all the odds from across the sports betting market and show you the rare few spots out of the millions of odds, maybe there's only 50 plays that are arbitrage bets, where you can make a risk-free profit. And some of these arbitrage plays are gonna be very small percentages, right? So what 1% means is if you bet $500 total on that arbitrage play, you will make $5 risk-free. So obviously the percent, that's your profit margin, you want it to be higher. For a 10% arbitrage bet, if you bet $500 total, that's $50 in risk-free profit. So obviously a 10% ARB is better than a 1% ARB. So I recommend keeping the arbitrage percentage sort by that. You don't wanna filter by specific sports books or data as much. I really encourage you to filter by the profit margin. So then all you have to do, once you're logged into your sports books, you have multiple sports book accounts, is hit the refresh button on the arbitrage tool, pull up the calculator, and what that calculator is gonna tell you is how much to bet on each side. So for example, for that Kenny Pickett ARB, I saw that Barstool was limiting me to only be able to bet 178 bucks. So I put 178 into the calculator. It tells me to bet roughly 178 on Caesars. You can round your numbers if you'd like to 175 or a more standard number. And then you just gotta place your bets and the arbitrage calculator is gonna show you your risk-free profit. Now, what I will note is if you start to round the numbers from the calculator a bit, then you'll have a slightly different profit depending on if the over or the under wins. So if you follow the arbitrage calculator exactly, you're gonna make the same profit no matter what. So in this Kenny Pickett example, I would make the exact same profit if he goes over or under if I follow the calculator exactly. If you round the numbers a bit, it's gonna slightly change that profit depending on if he goes over or under. Keep in mind that sports books are constantly changing odds. That's why I mentioned the refresh button. When you wanna see all the new arbitrage plays that are available, just hit the refresh button on Odds Jam. It's gonna scan all the sports books and point them out. 
Also, there's a stream button that will auto refresh depending on what odds jam plan you're on. So you don't actually have to hit the refresh button. So let's go through what are some of the pros? What are some of the cons of arbitrage? Now let's start with the pros. The pros are this is literally free money. So I know a lot of people will say, oh, it's not glamorous. You only made $8 risk-free, but you have to remember I'm logged into my sportsbook accounts. This arbitrage play took me about 20 seconds to bet. I'm $10 richer, $8 richer for literally 20 seconds of work. So again, arbitrage comes, the power is in doing it consistently. Let's say you place 10 arbitrage bets a day, making roughly $10 a profit. That's $100 a day. That's $36,000 a year if you do it consistently. But again, arbitrage betting, it's all about volume. So this is not a game for the lazy. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is something where if you're consistently putting in the work to look for these arbitrage plays, you're gonna make big profits. And that is the pro of arbitrage betting. It's how I made my first $40,000 sports betting in less than a year. I used to get home from work, crack open a beer, and just look for arbitrage bets and place them all night long. Some nights there were a few more arbitrage bets. I'd make $100 risk-free. Other nights I may only make $40 risk-free, but over the course of, the, of a month, I was making thousands and thousands of dollars with no risk. And it's absolutely insane. Where else can you sit at home on your computer and make risk-free money? So some of the cons of arbitrage betting. Why is this strategy hard? And first of all, you are going to need to have multiple sportsbook accounts. If you just use FanDuel, the strategy obviously is impossible. You're betting on equal and opposite outcomes on two different sports books to make a risk-free profit. So you're gonna need multiple books. I recommend having like as many sports books as possible. I've arbitrage bet on over 40 sports books. So the more books you have access to, the better. The more arbitrage plays you're gonna get down. More books is better. And a lot of people only have one sports book now. Sign up for more. Most of these books have sign up promos, sign up bonuses as well. So it's, it's not like signing up for a sports book is super hard. It takes just like a minute. And most of these books have bonuses when you sign up anyways. So the second thing about arbitrage betting, a con, is you have to move quickly. A lot of people, they'll try out arbitrage betting. They'll go to place two bets and they'll be like, hey, one of these lines move but it'll take them 10 minutes to find the bets in the first place, is you are day trading inefficiencies in the market, so you gotta know how to move quickly. Ideally, you have your sportsbook accounts logged into, you know how to get to these markets, and another recommendation I have is if the line moves, don't slam these arbitrage bets for all your money, right? You can do small little amounts at first to get a feel for the sportsbooks, how quickly you need to move, and then at the end of the world, if one of the lines moves on you, it's not a big deal. So my recommendation is start out just arbitrage betting with lower amounts of money so you can get a feel for the sports books, how quickly you need to navigate them as you day trade your way to risk-free profits. So third con is going to be limits. So I showed you earlier, Barstool only gave me $178 on Kenny Pickett's over, right? And a lot of people will be like, Oh, I can only make $8 risk-free. I can't make $80 risk-free and bet, you know, $2,000 on this arbitrage bet. And honestly, that's just part of the game. You are day trading sports books to make five, 10, 15, $20 per arbitrage bet. This isn't something, the markets aren't liquid enough where you're gonna be able to place these bets for $20,000. Sports books don't allow pet sizes that big. So arbitrage is a great way to make a risk-free $2,000 a month but again, you're not gonna be able to get greedy and place these arbitrage bets for $5,000. Some sports books have lower betting limits than others. Some sports books are like $100. Some allow slightly bigger bet sizes like Caesars. And that's why you wanna have as many sports books as possible, right? Some books have higher betting limits than others. So your arbitrage bets are gonna be juicier in terms of the profit margin. So let me know if you have any questions at all about arbitrage betting. My job is to help, I'm happy to and make sure to sign up for your seven day free trial of Odds Jam. It's literally free. If you don't like it, you try arbitrage betting, you think it's too hard, you can cancel in one button click. But again, feel free to email me with questions. I've made tens of thousands of dollars risk-free with this strategy. If you're willing to put in the work, hustle, you can make money with this strategy, and I'm here to help along the way.